referendum on October the 1st in defiance of Spain's central government. The region's president and cabinet members signed the bill into local law almost immediately. They also approved a legal framework to declare independence within 48 hours of a yes vote. Spain's wealthy northeastern region already has autonomous powers, but somewhat full secession. After the vote, Catalonia's president said, we call on the citizens of our country to decide what kind of future they want for Catalonia, whether they want the current path of autonomy with a limited statute or a new direction as an independent state in the form of a republic. But not all Catalan lawmakers back the move. Members opposed to independence abandoned the chamber before the vote, with some leaving Catalan flags on their empty seats. Eventually, the voting went 72 in favor, with 11 abstentions in the 135-seat chamber. The result was greeted by a rendition of Catalonia's regional anthem. A member of the National Ruling People's Party was confident the bill would be suspended. Tomorrow, these new laws will be history because, fortunately, Spain is a country with the rule of law, where democratic institutions are effective. The Constitutional Madrid has declared it illegal, and authorities have seized voting materials. In a televised address, Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy urged separatists to abandon their plans for the referendum. Thousands of pro-independent supporters have clashed with police in the Catalan capital, Barcelona, to protest what they are describing as a power grab by the Spanish government. The Catalan president accused Madrid of, quote, de facto suspending. The Spanish government has pledged to stop a poll that was declared illegal by the country's constitutional court. Police officers are preventing people from voting and seizing ballot papers and boxes at polling stations. In the regional capital Barcelona, witnesses said police had fired rubber bullets during pro-referendum protests. 38 people have been injured, most of them lightly, say Catalan emergency services. Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont condemned the action of federal police. The unjustified use of violence by the Spanish state will not stop the will of the Catalan people, he told reporters. The ballot papers contain just one question, do you want Catalonia to become an independent state in the form of a republic? There are two boxes, yes or no. Ahead of the polls opening, the Catalan government said voters could print off their own ballot papers and use any polling station if their designated voting place was shut. In the town of Girona, riot police smashed their way into a polling station where Mr. Puigdemont was due to vote. Television footage showed them breaking the glass of the sports center's entrance door and forcibly removing those attempting to vote. However, Mr. Puigdemont was still able to cast his ballot at another polling station. Since Friday, thousands of separatist supporters had occupied schools.